just cast out. Something's tapping on here. We'll have a look, shall we? You can feel the weight, it's nothing massive. You certainly feel that weight. Come on. <laughs> I've got a feeling it could have a whiting here. Yeah. It is a very small whiting. So they're here. If you, well, I've just noticed those birds out there. It looks like they've previously been feeding on something. So we'll cast this out and have a look. It's actually quite breezy, but we got the wind off our backs and we are getting little taps on this rod now. So see what we've got. I have a feeling we could be getting some white in today. There's a little bit of weight on this. It's taken off down tide. We have got bigger tides, so it's making whatever's on the end of here seem a bit heavier probably than it is. <laughs> That's a great thing about sea fishing, you never know, do you, till it comes out what it is. I'm predicting whiting, oh, it's quite deep. But... Bit of deja vu like we had last week. Another flounder. Let's put this one back. Quite a significant pull on there. I don't think that's a whiting. That could be a flounder or even a bass, so we don't want to be too keen here. Yeah, we're in. So I'm going to call it early. That's a little bit better, that, unless there's two on there, but it could well be a flounder. <laughs> you can see the tide's taking us here is going to be east to west. I was saying earlier, I absolutely love that bit where the fish comes out of the water. We'll see if we can get that. It's giving a good shake now. If we can come down with him, mate. <laughs> yeah. So it could just be whiting and then I'll look stupid. <laughs> It seems to be well hooked. Yeah. Well, and we've got ourselves a tiny little bass. <laughs> Only a schoolie, but it does show they're there, doesn't it? A lovely little bar of silver. We'll put this one back. Well, as the wind picks up, I've just had another bite. Let's have a look at this, see what you reckon. Well, there's something on the other rod as well. So on the website, I'm actually listing all the tackle that we use here at Saltwater Angler. I'm using the Luna, this is the Colmic Luna, 
uh, and we're going to make a list of all the rods we use, all the lure rods, all the tackle. It's an easier way of doing it really. So what's happening here with these bites then? See something on the left hand rod, you see that? Tapping away. I'm going to call that now, that is a whiting. So I think we've got a whiting on the rod on the left. Uh, possibly something else on the rod on the white, right. Actually that tide, I yeah, no, it's still pushing, but we're holding bottom. Got a rolling lead on the rod on the left, so I'm just going to leave that for a better sort of rattle, really. It's tempting to see what's on here, but as I say, we've got a rolling lead, so the, hook, the fish isn't really going to hook itself like it, it did on the other rod earlier. Bigger hooks on here as well. Size one. I was tempted. <laughs> now I said it was a whiting, didn't I? I've called it, it's a whiting. And you just know a flounder's gonna come out. <laughs> What have we got, Nelly? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> now that's a whiting. You can tell them from the pollock. We don't get pollock here. <laughs> and just with the unhooking, just turn that 90 degrees and pull it out. Another little whiting. So, well, it must be autumn now. You can definitely feel those, you can feel the bites on that, can't you? Only a little one.